Yes. I'm coming, man. Honest. I'm almost through. Ready to go. Ready for what? For you. You know, Brenda, whenever I need a moment's peace, you barge right in. Whenever I don't have a moment to spare, you stand there on ceremony. Well, and a good morning to you, too. Should I just go out and come back no, in no, again? No, 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 no. Forget that. I don't got the time. Tell me what you want, huh? Is there any special reason you're in such a rotten mood this morning? Well, you're about to pick me up for one of those thrilling meetings five minutes ago, and I'm not exactly ready. Yeah, well, you don't look like you're ready for any kind Can of meeting. Can you help me with this coffee, please? Yeah. Look, what do you expect, my guy? I spent the entire night in bed with a 60-page, single-spaced report for company, hmm? Well, you could have done worse. Can you hold still? Well, you mind explaining that last comment? You better, better don't. Wally and I saw Ronnie at Corky's last night, and she led us to believe that she was meeting you. Well, she's wrong, I'm sorry to say. And thank you for the tough link I owe you one, huh? Oh, well, good. Because that's why I came over in the first place. It's Jordy, I need a favor. Okay, then I walked into that one, didn't I? Yes. All right, just make it fast, okay? Okay, actually, it's pretty simple. Uh, I need you to help me break the law. What are you doing here? Do you have any idea how early it is? It's not that early. I think the manager overslept. Well, maybe a little. But you're not even supposed to be here. I have direct orders from Sandy that you're on maternity leave for as long as you want. With full pay. And you always listen to your big brother. Only when he makes sense. So, you're gonna go on home. You're gonna get some sleep, maybe get some food. When I'm done, I'm 17 cents off. I promise that I'll quit when I find my mistake, okay? <laughs> 17 cents, huh? <laughs> you're done. Me you know. <laughs> All right, look. It's gonna make you happy to find your mistake. You know, this is really funny. Chrissy would lose 117 bucks and she'd never bat an eyelash. She wasn't nearly as cute as you. What's that got to do with anything? I don't know. I guess it depends on your point of view. You gotta trust me. I do. About a lot of things. In fact, I decided to take your advice. About that prenatal class at University Hospital. Oh, yeah? You're gonna take it? Great. I'll go with you. I've always wanted to get involved in that kind of stuff. You're impossible, you know that? Yeah. <clears throat> Something else on your mind. Did I say that? You don't have to say that. Okay. Um, look, I don't, I don't want to sound ungrateful or anything, because I really, I really do appreciate your brother's offer. But I've thought about this a lot, and I've decided that I'm going to give the baby to the sisters at the Donnelly home. I wanted those of you who are not on the university hospital staff to uh, get a look at our arena and have a chance to meet each other. Now, the rest of the team will make themselves available to you as their schedules allow. Dr. Hector Ramirez, neurologist, is from Memorial. Dr. Murphy, anesthesiologist, is uh, from Canada via New York City. She's the best in the business. Thank you, Dr. McCandless. I hear the same about you. Thank you. I got Anderson to back you up, if that's okay. I'm impressed. And he'd like to meet with you a little later. I look forward to it. Good. As you know, the surgery we're about to perform is very new and highly experimental. I'm going to rely on all of you and the rest of the hospital staff to give it all you got. We're going to try to put a man back on his feet after many years in a wheelchair. And if we're lucky, he could be just the start of many more. Any questions? Oh, I almost forgot. There is another aspect of this unusual operation. We're all going to be on satellite TV.
Now, look, Harris, I'm going to be busy for the next couple of days, and I want this settled. So take it or leave it. Yeah, I always get my way. Talk to you later. You busy? Do I look like I'm busy? Well, I just thought I'd stop in and say goodbye. This place never ceases to amaze me. I'm about to go into major surgery, and a staff member drops in to bid me farewell. Wow. Boy, that's some bedside manner, kid. Uh, no, Mr. Morgan, I'm the one who's leaving. I oh. thought you knew that. Uh, no, I didn't. Well, today's my last day, and I just thought I'd drop around and see my favorite patients. Wish them all the best and all. Favorite patients, huh? Just when do I fall into that category? You know something, Mr. Morgan? I got a very strong feeling that your bark is a lot worse than your bite. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Don't bet on it. Why don't you make yourself comfortable? Thank you. You see, the way I look at it, your being here, bad-tempered and all, gives my brother Thomas a good chance to do this operation. And that means a lot to him. So I guess you could say I am very glad that you stopped by. You're very close to your brother, aren't you? Yes, I am, sir. Why? So why are you quitting the hospital? Well, sir, I got a new job. I am going to be the assistant manager of a casino in Atlantic City. Oh, wonderful. What, have you been talking to my mother? What? Nothing. I, it's just I've been getting a lot of flack from my family. I really don't need any more. You watch out for the friends you'll make there. Friends? Uh, you'll meet a certain kind of crowd. And then you'll find that you like them. Maybe even want to be like them. But it's a trap, kid. The slow draw quicksand you won't even notice you stepped into. Mr. Morgan, you sound like you've been there. Well, at my age, we all have. Just don't worry about your enemies. Watch out for your friends. Okay. Well, I'll be in and out most of the day. If you need me, you just give me a ring, okay? How about now? Sure, what can I do? Pull off a miracle. See if you can talk your mother into coming in to see me, huh? I will be hooked in directly with both Dr. Claude Philippe in Antwerp and Dr. Wilhelm Strauss in Vienna. Any transmission delay? Um, too slight to worry about. Any other questions? Okay. We'll be having two more briefings with the entire team before the operation. In the meantime, if you have any questions, my door is always open. Thank you. I know I'm just on standby, Thomas, but I've got a feeling about this one. A good feeling. Good luck. Thank you. I'm going to need it. How'd you get in here? Oh, connections. How did your first introductions go? Uh, pretty good. They seem to be as excited about this as I am. Mm. Now let's just hope we can make it work. Oh, you will. You nervous? Me? Nervous? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, you never lose your sense of humor, do you? Sometimes it's the only thing that helps you get through. Oh, well, in that case, then this operation's gonna go beautifully. Yeah. You know, Mom, I just wish that uh, everybody wasn't making this like the first walk on the moon. You know, one step for man, a giant leap for mankind. It's just another operation, that's all. Really? Okay. Okay, Mom, I'm on the edge of something big. This could be a whole new era of orthopedic surgery. It's a hell of a responsibility. Well, don't worry, Dr. McCandless. You are one hell of a surgeon. Well, look, I don't uh, quite get it. I don't need a phony ID, huh? Because Wally's going to be working all summer, and I won't be able to see him unless I can prove I'm legal. Well, where did Waldo sign on? Anyway, a bar? Didn't Daddy tell you? He offered him the assistant managing position at the Golden Mermaid Casino in Atlantic City. So Wally's going to be working for like 10 hours straight, and I won't be able to go in the door, much less see him, if I can't prove I'm 21. So what do you say? Huh? I don't know. Please, 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 please. All right, please. Jim, I'll see what I can do. Okay, you. thanks. <laughs> I've been waiting in the car for the past 10 minutes. What's keeping you? Waiting in the car? 
I thought you were going to come pick me up at well, the you bed. you thought wrong. The meeting's in 45 minutes. Move it, Jordy. And stop bothering your brother, young lady. Okay, I was just going. Yeah. Bye, Daddy. You mind explaining something to me? Anything, in the car. No. Sure, I just can't wait. Why am I the last to find out that you've hired Wally McCandless and given him a job in a casino? Well, because you got a job of your own to worry about. A job that requires a reaction to that report I gave you. Mm -hmm. You want a reaction to this? Okay, so you're grateful to the sisters at the Donnelly home. I can understand that, but that doesn't mean you have no, to give the baby. No, it doesn't, but I want to. It'll be easier that way. Easier for who, Cheetah? Look, the sisters at the Donnelly home will probably find a good home for the baby, but... But you'll never know for sure. But if you let Sandy handle the adoption, I'm not going to know who's raising my baby, no matter who places it. Maybe it'll be better that way. Maybe I don't want to know. Come on, I don't buy that. Because I know how important this baby's future is to you. This isn't about the baby, is it? This is about Sandy. Yeah, it, it kind of is. I mean, Sandy offered to help, Cheetah. He doesn't do that a lot. And I'm just afraid that if we, if we turn him down, it's going to offend him or hurt his feelings. Not if you explain it to him. I know he'll understand. Just tell him that how nice the sisters were to me, and that I feel good about giving the baby to them because of how they treated me. And thank him. I don't... Never mind. What? Forget it. No, what? You think my brother's up to something, don't you? I didn't say that. No, you didn't. But, but I can tell that you're thinking it, right? I mean, you think Sandy's going to try and make some kind of a deal on this, don't you? Well, you're wrong, Cheetah. You're 180 degrees wrong. Look, I know that Sandy has some kind of offside stuff, but he's not into black market babies, for Pete's sake. I mean, this is, for Sandy, completely a family thing. This has to do with honor, and it has to do with doing the right thing, and you've got to believe me I on that. I do believe you. I just don't know if I believe Sandy. All right, okay. Look, just don't get upset. That's the most important thing I'm here. I don't not. want you to get upset. I'm not. I'm just trying to do what is best. All right. Okay. Look, if you want the sisters to handle this, then the sisters it is. <laughs> you know, I had to find out about Wally's job for the brass. After the whole world knew. Thanks a lot, Dad. What difference does it make? It's his job, not yours. That's exactly my point. I'd give my right arm for a job like that at a casino. Sure. Atlantic City. All fun and games, huh? No, sir, I would do a good job. I'm sure you will. But not in Atlantic City. Right here at Clegg Industries. I've got plans for you, son. Oh, great, here we go again. You're gonna be taking over Clegg Industries one day, and I'm gonna make sure you are ready, no matter how much time it takes. Or blood. If need be. Now, come on. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You didn't hire Wally to help him out. You and Mom are still hooked on the idea to keep him and Brenda from marrying each other. Oh, well, be serious. No, I have never been more serious in my life. You know he's got a gambling problem and you're using it. Oh, yeah, you want to get him in that casino so he can get himself into trouble again. Wally assures me that gambling is no longer a problem with him. Yeah, but you don't believe it. And you're putting him to the test, aren't you? Waiting for him to fail. We're late. And this is not open for discussion. I'm giving Brenda's fiance the chance of a lifetime. If he can prove himself to me, fine. And if not, the car is waiting. Wild. You're the one who dragged us in here. 
Well, you just hold on to that thought until later. Hey, you, uh, think we'll be able to find a linen closet in Golden Mermaid in Atlantic City? What do you mean, we? Just a figure of speech, my husband to be. things you forgot to complain about, things you'd like to get off your chest before the surgery? No, as a matter of fact, I just wanted to, uh, give you this. We got everything it takes to put the world on fire. The power of passion on the young and the restless. Weekdays. Now go on, take it. Won't fight. I'm like the giver. <laughs> you said it, not me. This is the kind of time of the school of thought that says, never apologize, never explain. However, rules are meant to be broken, so uh, consider that an apology. For anything in particular or for everything in general? Well, for my bad manners to begin with. Believe it or not, though, uh, there is good cause for my, uh, what should I call it, uh, abrasiveness? <laughs> well, abrasiveness will do. But there's no need to apologize. I... I think I understand you. Really? I think you use abrasiveness to cover up other feelings that you don't like having. Like a fear of surgery. Well, that's not exactly right. The real problem is... is faith. That's faith. Exactly. Me, don't you think? But it's not the face I was born with. That one was different. It was... nice, kind. Feeling, even. Well, what happened to that other face? I lost it. And I got this one in its place. So, uh, you know, what can I tell you? I've been trying to live up to this new image ever since. Excuse me, Mr. Morgan. Well, what do you want? A bunch of fresh fish for a vice water and some clean towels. All right, all right, come on in. Mr. Morgan, are you telling me that you've had plastic surgery? Same accident that put me in this chair. Also took away my nice, appealing face. I think you would have liked me better with my old face, Mrs. McCandless. Thomas? Thomas? Oh, Wendy, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. No problem? No, nothing like that. What, I get drummed out of the AMA? No. Frank Rosenberg dropped his spy. He thought you might like to see it. Dr. Thomas McCandless of Washington's University Hospital will perform this nation's first peripheral neuro. Great publicity. Good. Thomas, it also goes on to say how important this operation is. Wendy, this does not make me feel good. Why? I would have just preferred to do this whole thing without a lot of fanfare. I don't see how you're going to be able to avoid it. I bet the news media will pick up this item. Well, hey, then let's just take out a billboard. Let's not leave any stone unturned. I know you're going to do it. You will. Mr. Morgan will walk again. And it's all because of what you're going to do in here. Thanks, Wendy, for the support. And for putting up with me. <laughs> all this attention's got me more than uneasy. Well, so try not to let it get to you. Remember this. Ah, oh, a lot of people. Oh, you promise, huh? Get your feet up. Can you get some rest? You're gonna get some food in there? I promise. Okay. I promise. I'll call you later. Oh. Morning, Nino. Hi, Sam. And a good morning to you, little lady. Hi. Uh, you're not supposed to be here, remember? No, I just stopped in for a little while to help out. Yeah? <laughs> okay. How you feeling? Great, really. Need up, remember. Okay. Seems upset, me, no? Problem? No, she just uh, gets real tired lately. Uh, she's got a lot on her mind. Too. Listen, Stan. Um, she told me to tell you that she really appreciates your offer. 
but that she's gonna let the Donnelly home take care of the baby's adoption. What? What do you mean she's letting the home handle it? I said I'd handle it. She can't change her mind now. Hey, it's her baby, man. She can do whatever she wants to do. Hey, listen to me, will you? <laughs> Sound like this is some big deal, huh? Forget it. She doesn't want me to do her a favor? That's her business. Like you said, it's her baby, right? Right. Vincent here. Beat it, Nino. For me. I'm private. I thought I told you to keep an eye on Morgan, or don't you hear so good? Oh, I heard you all right. Didn't you say your friends were sure that he wasn't Victor Markham? Right. Doesn't look anything like him. Oh, Sandy, you're slipping. You never heard of plastic surgery? I just did. From Morgan himself. Seems like I got his whole face redone. Changes things, doesn't it? It sure does. Now, what are we going to do about it? Well, it looks like we're going to have to take care of him. Mm -hmm. 